Uh, you can imagine that uh, in this day and age and in the country we live in here, we live in it, every man run, the guys behind me, uh, we're trying to generate electricity by burning coal. Uh, just to make that statement bluntly, it's like we're still in the Stone Age. This guy was in a nuclear submarine. You can make electricity, you can make a nuclear power plant. Why the hell don't you do that? Now you have all kinds of electricity to put in this rail to make your machine go problem over with. Back to the politics. Who's selling the coal? Who's transporting it? Blah, 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 and all that crap like that. So they're greed, and that's what they're in it for. And that's why it stays the way it is. You pointed it out earlier today two or three times. We're still running around on wheels. It's a damn thing they ain't square. <laughs> At least we got to the round ones and we're sticking with that. Good for us. But we have not made a leap into the future about how to transport people and move them around. And your levitation proposition is probably pretty good stuff. But you see how we're trapped, though, in everyday reality by how many lumps of coal can you run on a coal train, which runs back of our place all the damn time. And they can't haul enough, and it ain't going to make it. And that's, that's not the cure at all. We're not going at it right at all. You're not getting enough wind to blow, and you're not getting enough sun to shine on your butt either. I feel like we've got a lot of work to do. It's going to be inside a fence with barbed wire around it, and uh, we've already discussed putting something across that back to where you can't get underneath it or where you can out here. Uh, I'm proud to have it, being one of a kind, and I'd be proud to be the custodian of it. I really would. You just don't find things like this anywhere. Et bah, les choses bougent très sérieusement en ce moment puisque le, le transfert est imminent et que dans les mois, voire semaines qui viennent, les, les deux prototypes à pousse à l'air vont être transférés sur leur dalle en béton qui est terminée maintenant dans le, dans le musée ferroviaire. Ils ont en plus un choix de, de vraiment les mettre en valeur et de les expliquer au plus grand nombre avec notamment une restauration des deux engins et puis un réaménagement intérieur du ROR avec une restauration de sa moquette, de ses fauteuils et puis l'installation d'un d'un petit euh, espace média qui permettrait de projeter des films, d'expliquer notamment aux classes d'enfants par exemple quelle a été cette histoire, l'histoire de leur ville hein, et euh, l'histoire de, de leur industrie et euh, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé avec ces engins et quel meilleur cadre finalement que l'intérieur du Rock Train pour, euh, pour expliquer à tout un chacun ce à quoi il a servi. Thank you for help. Before we even get it, thank you for help. Uh, we want to make this Aero Train look good. We want to preserve it and we want anyone that wants to, to come and see it. And thank you for the designers that designed this thing. I love it. I don't think air is going to be able to come back. Uh, that was the first and last. And it will never be any more. They're too set with the rails. Rails go everywhere. And at rails they can put down real quick, whereas concrete and aluminum they can't. So I don't think it will ever go back to the hovercraft again. That one is classed out there is a monorail hovercraft and on the side it says aerotrain but uh, I don't think it'll ever come back again I wish it would I think it'd be a good fast transportation too much power well I'm <laughs> I believe in uh, in that we will as a people find ways to continue to improve and maybe by preserving the past, mm -hmm. we can incite some interest and in some mm. folks to take a, a good hard look at what we might want to do in the future. Because we, we can learn from the past if we will take the time to look at it. L'aérotrain de Roar Industries, construit sous licence Bertin, fut un échec technique. Au début des années 70, le moteur à induction linéaire était une technologie à peine fiable. L'échec technique américain n'a pas permis de sauver le programme français, déjà condamné par des lobbies protectionnistes influant au plus haut niveau de l'État français. C'est sur cette note que s'achève notre voyage à Pueblo. Le dernier prototype d'aérotrain est donc entre de bonnes mains. Après le tournage de ce documentaire, le musée ferroviaire a réussi à fabriquer la pièce nécessaire au levage du roi. En juillet 2009, le dernier aérotrain fut transporté vers son musée définitif, au Railway Museum de Pueblo. En France, l'intérêt pour l'aérotrain rejaillit. Les articles de presse se multiplient, 
les anciens collaborateurs sont toujours motivés et la nouvelle génération de passionnés grandit par le biais d'Internet. L'aérotrain n'est pas près de disparaître de la mémoire française. Après tout, l'ingénieur Bertin avait convaincu le président de la République avec une simple maquette.